Welcome to the newsroom for today, Thursday, May 28, 2020. We're broadcasting to you on E1, SCAR TV, NTN, and Tarsi TV in Bartica. My name is Avinash Ramzan, and we're coming to you live from the Arthur Chong Conference Center here at Liliandal, where a national recount of votes cast on March 2 is taking place. It's day number 23, and on today, uh, 90 boxes would have been counted today, taking the overall total to 1,400. And 73. Remember, there are 2,339 boxes to be counted, so the remainder would be 866 in basically two days. And if you look at the trend over the last uh, 23 days, getting those uh, 866 boxes in two days is very much impossible. There are, there are talks about an extension, uh, which would lead into about mid-June. We'll hear more of that, of course, from GCOM in the probably by tomorrow. Districts uh, 3 and 7 have been completed today and District 10 has started. Counting for District 10 has started today, day number 23 of the National Recount. To kick start our news this evening, I have with me Ms. Rhonda Lamb, the presidential candidate of the Citizenship Initiative. Ms. Lamb, just give us a recap of today and what some of the stuff that you would have observed. Um, well, as you've mentioned, uh, Districts 3 and 7 were completed. Um, District 7 was completely tabulated. And so all of those parties have copies of them. You know, they're going to go through, make sure that their numbers match, things like that. And then we wait for that, that region to be certified. 3 has been completed, counted, but tabulation, we're still missing a few. Well, not missing, but we haven't tabulated a few SORs. So I presume by tomorrow that will be completed. And then we start that certification process as well. Today, uh, like you said, 10 has started. Um, they've been assigned two stations. Region 4 now has an additional counting station. And I believe one that fourth station that was freed up with the end of 3 and 7 went to Region 6. So that's where we're at in terms of the operations. Okay. Um, as you would imagine, getting those uh, 866 boxes in two days now is, is very much impossible. Um, have you received any report in terms of the extension and what that timeline would look like, the new timeline? Um, I've been hearing uh, things that, um, through the grapevine of course, nothing official in writing from GCOM as yet, that they're looking at mid-June. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hearing the 13th of June for the uh, CEO to send his report to the commission. And then after that, we wait to see what GCOM will do in terms of a declaration. So, but by all, by all stretches of the imagination, this is extending to June at least, um, mid-June with at least a count mm -hmm. at 90 boxes a day. 800 plus boxes to go. You can do the math from there and see that we're going to probably need about two, another 12 days or so to complete it. So that's, that's your party's position. Ideally, you want 12 days? Um, we want this process over and done with. We are dealing with a pandemic which requires a National Assembly sitting, being able to pass um, you know, a COVID package for our people. Um, today, I, I was very much, you know, it jarred me into reality that we have 150 COVID cases today. And that number is just, you know, it keeps growing and growing. So we have to prepare for that. And in order to do so, we will need a sitting government. One that has the full capacity and the capabilities of utilizing parliament to pass relief measures and things like that. So the faster it's over with, it's the better for us. That's our official position. All right. This is uh, Citizenship Initiative's yeah. first election. Um, unprecedented that you have to go into a recount as well. Describe the process over the last 23 days if you were to summarize it. I would say it's been taxing for us. Um, we've had to man multiple stations. Um, I'm our supervisor, plotter, tabulation agent as well. And so there are days when I don't have reps, you know, and I pop into a station to, you know, oversee and those kinds of things. So it's been taxing. It's been trying. We're here. We're, we're here very early. We leave here almost 12 hours later. So for, for our persons who are here every day, it, it, it's an exercise in patience. It's an exercise in a lot of things. But we're getting there every day. You have a number of boxes down and you feel accomplished that this is done. And we're, you know, one day closer to the end. All right, finally, tell us specifically what's your role and explain what exactly you do on a daily basis. So my role is supervisor slash tabulation agent. Um, we have agents in the various workstations. And so I would I would be able to go in to relieve them if they needed assistance, collect SO, um, SORs from them. And then I take those across to the tabulation room. We prep in terms of images for our website mm -hmm. so that persons can follow the results daily. And so for most of the day, you'll find me just sending images across to our IT team for them to upload as we go along. So by this point, when I send the final tabulated numbers, we're ready with a, an updated web page and the results. 
um, for the agents themselves, they sit there, they ensure that the count is, you know, if it says 250 for X per person, and we ensure, you know, you see those ballots, those kinds of things. And then at the end, you, um, you object if you want to make to, to certain things. You ensure that those are recorded in the observation report and then everyone signs off on it. And then that gets sent again to our TAP team and we make note of what, who's objected to what and what specifically we're looking for in that sense. Uh, anything specific that you had to object to during the process so far? Initially, when we first start, when it first started, we were looking. Um, I was very much against people's personal information being placed in the public domain. Um, I still see that up to today. I had we had an instance. Um, unfortunately, our rep did for that room did not come today, and so we were unable to object it. But we had literally down to the person's date of leaving the country. Mm -hmm. So those are the kinds of things that TCI is cognizant of. Um, we're seeing names popping up in the observation report, especially of agents, and I feel that is not something that I would subscribe to. So those are the kinds of things we're objecting to. Um, where, for instance, we've seen issues where the numbers of you know numbers emerging out of the recount don't match old SOPs we have, or we have audio for it. We've been placing that, that audio and you know the, the two together. To kind of show those numbers but for the most part my issue is people's personal information and where we feel that the objections are prying into people's private business and their lives that's where tci's ob um, objection mainly falls in this process thank you very much you're welcome miss ronda lamb the presidential candidate of the citizenship initiative talking to us here about what took place today and some other elections matters in terms of the national count which is taking place here at the Ardachong Conference Centre. Of course, today is day number 23 and 90 boxes were counted today, taking the overall total to 1,473. Remember, there are 2,339 boxes to be counted. So there are basically 866 uh, remaining and there are basically two days uh, of this 25 day stipulation. There are talks, of course, of an extension which would lead into about mid-June.